This is episode eight of The Art of Agency, a launchpad for realtors. With me, Jonathan Green, and my co host, Mallory Pastor. Yeah, we're getting old hat. Oh, we have a guest. Ooh. Our guest, yeah, here he is. It's Austin St. John. I try to give him the nice pr- pronunciation because he says everybody else says St. Jean, but it's Austin St. John, who is the co founder of Dippity, a digital marketing company based in Lakeland, Florida, and a longtime friend of mine. I've worked with him for years. Austin, welcome to the show and thanks for being here. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you both for having me on. What is this, episode eight, right? This is. This is episode eight. We're happy to have you because we want to help realtors do better. And digital marketing is so prevalent now, we find them people just doing really unusual stuff on social media and through their marketing. So we want to bring in an expert like you to help them out. Are you ready to help them? (laughs) I am ready to give them everything I got. All right, Mallory, what's one of the biggest mistakes that you see people making in digital marketing? And then we're gonna have Austin solve the problem. (laughs) Okay, perfect, I love this. Uh, I'd say first, I think a lot of people don't understand like the algorithms behind social media. So there's not a lot of thought behind what they're posting. They think that just, you know, posting random things gets them leads or activity. So is that true, you think? No, that's definitely, I, I think that's partially true. I also think it uh, is something that also cripples people from even playing in the game is the fact that they may over obsess or over analyze the algorithms and try to figure out the algorithms and st- to the point where they just don't do anything at all and give up. So uh, I would say, yes, that is correct. It's a big mistake. But I think ultimately the biggest mistake is just not being social on social media and not being uh, active on social media. Yeah, I think there's some reluctance on I, I think like people can overthink the algorithm, but that's like even one step past what normally happens that we all know what happens is people just don't want to be on camera themselves you know, for whatever reason, as if someone's not going to see you in real life. Like, I don't like, (laughs) what's the big deal? Like you are you, they're going to see you at a showing. So why not put it out there? So once they get past that, I do think Mallory's right. I think people are wondering like, hey, what's going to happen? But in your experience, Austin, don't you think that one of the biggest failures is agents will post, you know, something and then, you know, an hour later, they're like, oh, well, this sucks. It didn't get, you know, it didn't get a hundred views. It, of course, you're not going to get three views. You, you know, more than three views. You never even posted. Right, right, exactly. Because these platforms, they do want you to be consistent. They want you to, they, they want to see that you're you're constantly putting content out. Now, it doesn't have to be five pieces of content a day. Uh, I think ultimately, it's focusing more on like quality content, but not f- over obsessing over quality to the point that it cripples you from posting at all. Like, for instance not even marketing related not even real estate related or anything my wife has developed this like she she's just right now having fun doing indoor dates like she's trying to do a date night yeah. uh inside our house so she posted like she she did a fort two weeks ago where she built like a fort. I felt like we were like eight years old and we felt no. like we, we had to sleep in the in the fort, right? And we yeah. watched watched Happy Gilmore. I got to choose the movie of my choice, <laughs> put on Happy Gilmore. Yes. Well I videoed all of it and I was just like, this is crazy that she's even doing this. Well, she took the video and made a TikTok out of it and it's quality content. I you know, I was just filming on my iPhone, but she took it, chopped it and made it. It got 15,000 views. So then she's like, I want to do another date night, right? <laughs> so she does one last week, turns our whole house into a cruise ship, a cruise ship. So when you're coaching real estate agents and they come in and they say like, we want Dippity to help us, are you guys trying to design one, uh, you know, a kind of a marketing strategy for their business and then two, a use of resources out there? So tell us like a little bit about that. Realtor comes to you for help. I don't know what I'm doing. How do you guys at Dippity help them? Yeah, so I guess it really depends on one, what they have needs for and trying to uncover what 
they're willing to do, right? Because some people aren't willing to get in front of video. And at that point, we have to go graphic design, you know, for the the content uh, that we're going to be doing. So are they coming to us for leads? Are they coming to us for viewership and trying to build a brand? Um, you know, are they coming to us because they just need consulting and coaching and they want to learn uh, how to do this themselves? I mean, there's so many people that come to us for various different reasons, uh, which is what I'm happy that we, we try our best not to bucket people in. Uh, to a solution we give them like tiers of uh, uh like uh, to guide them if they don't know like uh, call it a menu but all uh, ultimately when we get them on a call to try to uncover their needs we try to craft a strategy around what they desire or have an urge to go for um i feel like you you could be a testament to that i mean we've we've done so many different things where we've shifted back and forth trying so many different services um that you you ultimately are wanting either guinea pig and try out or uh that you know, we we've said, hey, give this a shot and try this. Yeah, I think I think if you want to work with a company, you have to work together in a partnership. And myself, I've worked with Dipity for years, but like we work so well together, Austin, because I'm open to your expertise. Like, why are you paying someone money if you're not going to trust what they tell you to do? And then you, and then why aren't you going to wait long enough to see what happens? So we have tested a lot of things. I want to see if you agree with this, and then I'll get Mal's opinion too. I actually think that the better money spent in digital marketing now is much more on branding than uh, leads. Because the leads that come in from even the best stuff that we do are mostly going to be garbage because the the, uh, the high end leads are going to come in through Zillow and sources that are that built for that. So the majority of leads that we can generate, even I mean PPC, okay, but it's still like a really a crapshoot compared to like, hey, let's spend money on branding. But the reason people don't is because you can't get a direct ROI always from the branding, right? Would you agree yes. with that? I do agree with that. I think branding's huge. I think ultimately the key to any avenue you take is consistency because if you're going to generate leads from PPC and you're not going to call them, you're wasting your money. If you're going to go buy expired leads from Red X and you're not going to call them, you're wasting your money. If you're going to go hire a social media agency to collaborate with you and you're going to try to create content, but you're not getting in front of the camera to give them things to edit and create content, you're wasting your money. Like no matter what, you have to be consistent. There is no marketing that is just set it and forget it and, and you're good to go. Like there is work to be done no matter the channel that you go in on you could look at uh um doing lead generation and cold calling every time you're cold calling and dialing it's no different than making a new post if you want to focus on branding on social media you better obsess over it like you're doing your calls and you better be making a lot of different posts and staying consistent so ultimately it's like a mixed bag answer because it's a loaded question based off of people's preferences somebody may rather sit in their couch in their underwear and make calls all day and Ugh. then some other people may be like more creative and want to do it i'm actually somebody that loves making calls i i, I love it personally so um you know it, it really just depends on what you want have you heard of the uh new social media it's called be real yeah so it's like so basically it's it's an app where it notifies you that in the moment you have to post right now whatever you're doing like it, so it, it, it'll ping you and you post it and you got to be real right so if you're you don't got oh, if you okay exactly so uh, it tries to stop people from highlighting in space <laughs> i downloaded it and then it opened it once and was like i don't like this sorry yeah. be real i'm yeah. always real so that's like it's like the doesn't do anything for me yeah. but like i get it. it it it's trying to help you be more organic and i think i think everyone would benefit it uh benefit from just being a little bit more organic about like what they post we tell uh, well let's ask austin a couple things about like what we do on social like what we teach like, our team real quick look yeah. at this i noticed before i'm like dude i think i have freaking toothpaste on my shirt and <laughs> yeah, i was whatever. like whatever yeah i have a, it's hole, like, in, I have a <laughs> hole in my sweatshirt right here <laughs> yeah i don't like, care well, but you know what's funny? You know this, though, from Austin. I mean, this is, again, for realtors, and Mal knows this. I I've made hundreds of YouTube videos, hundreds of live videos. I've never edited one. Not no. not even for one second. I don't even... I literally hit record on Zoom, record it, and then I just upload it. I don't care. It doesn't make a difference. Sometimes I pick my nose. I always like, oh, my hair's out of place. I just do... I don't hear you don't pick your nose. I might have, like, <laughs> rub in my nose a little bit. I don't, like, go for a grind, but, like, I fix my hair or I cough 
or my dog does something, but I never stop because I'm committed to just making the content. I don't care. I just want to produce something. And I think I, I prefer watching that much more something that's real. Like if somebody, a dog barks, that's funny. Mallory's dog's in the room. Probably going to oh, get on. Oh, it's our oh, third, it's our quiet. third co-host. <laughs> he's being very quiet. Today. Yeah. Yeah.